Hi there and welcome back to Champions of Kryn. I'm Baron and we shall take a look at our characters. Rekordorian now is a level 5 Knight of the Rose. Randy Spears is a level 6 fighter, I think nothing changed here. Sylvia Saint is a level 6 Magia Cleric, don't really know what anything changed here. Zara Reds now also is a level 6 mage. Genevieve Jolie already was a level 6 mage in the last video and Kobe Ta is a level 5 Mishakal Cleric and level 6 Thief. I don't really know whether anything changed here. So, congratulations on recovering the Dragon Axe from Gargoth. The loss of the Dragonlands is a setback, but not insurmountable. You are becoming an impressive fighting force. You are right. Let's go to the Commandant again. No, it's closed. We have two missions, investigate the ogre base, see that Jalik is safe. So we will go to that ogre base. Um, no, I will not enter, I will move. And here we have the ogre base, we enter. You have entered a small ogre encampment surrounding a large fortified manor house. No one is around at the moment. Well, that is about to change, right? Let's take a look at the area. Okay, we are coming in from the east. No, I don't want to encamp. I want to move. So we go in here. An aged ogre sits in this room. He peers at you quizzically. You are from the Solemnic Knights, not Matani. Well, I have a proposition for you. Interested? Sure. The ogre continues in your record in journal entry 24. I think I already read that accidentally. But I'm gonna read it again. Old Ogre's Story I was once the counselor to the ogre princes, but I have become too weak and crippled to keep my place. Now I hear of plots against our lord Gravnek by one of his lieutenants. Draconians have slipped into the manor house and will strike when the current meeting ends. I watched them enter and saw the secret sign they gave the guards. I have no love of these assassins or their traitorous ally. Use the sign to enter the manor, seek out the assassins and find evidence implicating Morok. He is the traitor, his rooms lie in the southeast of the manor. Okay. He shows you the secret sign used by the assassins, then he leaves. Okay, we do the same. We leave. Make like a tree and leave. Wait, so if there is an entrance. Uh, what? I'm, I'm lost. Take a look at the map. Oh, I get it. That actually is an entrance into the manor. The entrance to the manor is guarded. What do you do? We could give them the sign. The ogre, the others are gather, gathering in the north rooms. We haven't seen you. They ignore you and study their weapons intently. Hmm, they're up to no good, aren't they? So what do we have here? We go in here. Women are here scrubbing out large iron pots and sharpening knives. They cower in fear at your approach. What do you do? We talk to them. The women call down when you convince them that you are not assassins from Yotani. They explain that rumors have been spread throughout the slaves that an assassin team is hiding in the manor. The room is filled with hanging pieces of meat, old onions and strands of garlic cloves. The smell is quite overpowering. Is there anything hidden here? Apparently not. We get out again. So, how about we save? Oh, really? Rulebook page 1, before you play, word 7. Oh shit, that's a new one. Fine. Good thing you don't have to see my Excel sheet anymore, because I wised up. It took a while, but it worked. Eventually. So, word number 7. <laughs> Before you play, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be your. Oh, 
It's correct. So, how about we get in here? Six ogres are guarding this room. One starts to greet you as you enter, but another shouts, There were only draconians in the death squad. These are spies. Really? Fine. There are a few big guys here. Let's slay them. Ha! Well, that seems to work like a charm, baby. The party cuts through those ogres like a hot knife through butter. You yell. Uh, what are you doing? Well, I think we attack you first. Oh. Well, you missed. You're awesome. No, that's... I'd rather you stay here. They actually managed to do some damage. Not much, but a little. Oh, there's only one ogre left. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like it's working too well for you. Good night. One hundred eighty experience points. Nice. A search of the room turns up an agreement between an ogre named Morog and Murtani. It implicates Morog in the assassination plot. That's nice. Take a look around. There's nothing here. So we fix things, save and move on. This is a finally a Portionate bedroom. So we take a look around. Yeah, we already had that. Beneath the bed, you discover several large bags of steel pieces. They are imprinted with Matani's portrait. The party has found treasure. Each character receives 2666 experience points. Yay! How about you take the money? It's all about the mo Oh shit. How much do you really take? I don't know. 2000? Can you take two more? Or maybe 1,000 or overloaded. 500? You know what? We share it. And you... Oh, we have 1,500. Holy moly. You should trade it with Sylvia Saint. Can you give her the 500 too? Yes, you can. There's nothing else to get here. Good. So we will leave um, and bring the money to the bank. Because that really weighs us down. Yeah, I want to continue. No. Okay, it worked. Sure, I enter. One courier to our southern outpost has failed to report in. We have to relay... Relay them the information you have discovered. The base lies between Sanction and Neraka. Good luck and good speed. He hands you a map and you record it in journal entry 86. Let's take a look. Okay, there's a third outpost apparently. 
It's a little bit to the southwest of Naraka, uh, to the northeast of Sanction. Good. What do we do? We want to go to the vault and deposit our money. All 8,000. Thank you very much. Now we have 31,700. It's nice. No, I don't want to withdraw anything. Zero. <laughs> Shit. I <laughs> still lost 20 or what? Yes, for fuck's sake, take it. 80. Omri, pull it, take it. Leave. Okay, let's return to the yoga base. And let's get in here again. You have stumbled into the main ogre barrack. What do you do? Well, we could greet them. The barrack sergeant rushes up to you and whispers, You guys shouldn't be here. Not all of the guys. These guys are in on the plot. Your place is up the corridor. Third door. Now get. On second thought, um, if they are in on the thingy, should we attack them? But, well, apparently not all are in the in on the plot, so maybe we shouldn't attack them. An ogre dives under a crude wooden bed when you open the door. He cries out, I'm on Morok's side. Gravnax in the meeting hall. The rest of you are two doors up. Go away, he whimpers. What do you do? We leave. A dozen ogre bodies are lying here. They seem to have been someone's personal guards. Okay, what do we have here? A group of ogres is sitting around the table, sharpening their weapons nervously when you enter. One looks up and points to the northwest. Another says, aren't all the assassins already here? What do you do? Well, we attack. Oh, there's a lot of them. We. That was quick. We're making short work here. Well, what do we do now? You could guard and miss. Awesome. Oh, come on. How can you miss that big hulking ogre? You could guard.
Well, those ogres are not really much of a challenge. Oh, you surrender. Quit. 210 experience points. And no loot. So, we move on. Spies, shouts an ogre. No, more like warriors, but okay. Um, fine. You could yell. You always seem to like that. Who is hurt? That's nice. Ouch, you're hitting Kobe Tai. I don't like you. Well, if you no, if you want to play it like this, we'll see what Ragal Darian has to say to that. Exactly. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, Rekel, finish him up. That was nice. There's nothing to get, though. Where do we go from here? Oh, yeah. So, we should encamp and fix our stuff. And maybe cast a few spells. For instance... Uh, prayer. Add a protection from evil on you. And that's it. You also cast a, s a bless. And the protection on evil on Randy. And one on Sylvia. So we save. And let the fun begin. Draconians are waiting here. Weapons drawn when you enter. Oh, when you enter they rush to the attack. Okay. Oh, shit balls. Well, there's an Auric here, a Sivak, a Bass. Oh, well. Fine. Fireball time. One. Two, three, so you put it in here.
Oh. Uh, so. 19 hit points. I don't really know why you can't attack him. Range 0. What do you have equipped? A long sword. Hmm. And I can't seem to attack him. I can attack, I can attack him, all right. That's weird. So, how about we cast another fireball? On second thought, let's take a look around. Maybe a lightning bolt would be useful too? Can you do that? Move. Ah, you can't get. Uh, well, he will attack you. But that's not as bad as it could be. If you had you use a f um, a lightning bolt here, that would be awesome. Okay, so we do that. You can't use a lightning bolt now. Ow. Ow. Okay. You suck. Okay, try it now. Cast the lightning bolt. And you cast a fireball and you attack. You can't attack this sucker. That's weird. Okay. Manually here. Okay, and you target it here. One, two, three. The Bozak goes down, the Auric goes mad. The Sivak is down. Okay, I think we're getting things under control now. That's weird. Fine, uh, you move. That's not working. And then you can attack. Weird. No, wait a second. You delay a bit. This one is down. You move away into 
this direction. That should be enough. And cast a fireball here. If I want to hit you. One, two, three. I have to place it here. Oh shit, Randy Spears was in the effect. Um, what else can we do? You can cast a fireball. One, two, three, in here. Okay, that works nicely. Now you cast a magic missile. Oh, that doesn't work. No. Why can't I target you with a magic missile? Are you invisible or something? Well, that didn't work either. Do you have a dispel magic? No, you don't have it. Well, then you don't do anything. You delay. Do you have... You have a dispel magic. Target it on this one. Doesn't work either. Weird. Well, tell me why I can't attack the Auric. But if you know that, that's weird. The only way I know how to fight him is to move away and return. That can't be it. Still not working. Thanks. So you should cast. Uh, no, you don't cast. You start attacking. Miss. You could cast a uh, cure light wounds on him. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I can't get it. You don't have to move away. And now I can attack him. That's weird. So, you target it on him. Doesn't work. You have to be you have to be do you have to be standing next to someone if you want to heal them? That could be the case. Okay, I get it. Aim manual doesn't seem to work. But if I move into his direction, then I do attack. Don't ask me how that works. No, you will not attack. That is stupid. Okay, now you will cast uh, Cure Light Wounds and you can't do shit. Then you quit. Ah, okay. And again, I can't aim at that bastard. But if I move into his general direction, then I attack. And miss. You still have thirty, okay? 
You don't do anything. You could try a whole person on him. Probably won't work. Um, move. Oh well, attack. Doesn't work. Forget it. Zero damage. Okay, Kobita, you join the fray. Zero damage. What is wrong here? You can't tell me that supposed it's supposed to be like that. Oh, now they explode. Uh, no, we can't don't continue the battle. Um, well, that was weird. I guess I have to Google those Auric. Uh, Bas. I mean, I've read the clue book and the manual doesn't tell me anything. I, I can tell you what the manual says about um, Bas. Uh, not Bas, uh, Auric. Um, Draconians. Um, where are they? Oh, here. Auric. Created from the eggs of goat dragons, they attack with energy bolts, poisonous gas, or their claws and fangs. When an Auric is slain, it turns into a blazing ball of attacking energy for several rounds and then explodes. Aurochs have the ability to mind control characters of the 7th level and below. Does that mean when he turns into a blazing ball of attacking energy, I can't attack him anymore then? Maybe that's why I but sometimes I got an attack through. So maybe if I bring him down, then I have to just move away and ignore him for the rest of the battle till he explodes? That would be weird. What does the clue book say? The clue book says, uh, Another very powerful foe, the Auric Draconians can... Uh, b Draconians become almost common in Kernan base. They are very dangerous and should be the first thing eliminated in combat. However, once you kill them the first time, they get angry and go back to 20 hit points. Once you kill them a second time, they turn into a f blazing ball of lightning. Once you make them die a second time, run away from them as fast as you can. You need only get one blank square between your characters and the dying Auric. After a short time, the Auric will explode, causing much damage to all adjacent characters and probably stunning them for a short time. The attack you will take for moving away from the Auric is much less severe than the damage you would have taken from being next to the Auric when he explodes. But apparently I was not able to get him to, to you know, take him, take his 20 hit points away that he got in the second. Uh, when he got his second wind because all of the, well, I, first of all I couldn't aim at him and when I moved then most of the times I missed or I did zero damage. That's weird. Well, but we survived. What do we get? Seven gems and 70 steel coins. Okay, so how about we encamp and fix. Okay, so I will take a break here. This is... I don't really know. Can we finish this in this video? Probably not. I will take a break here and continue on the next one. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.